This is the 1977 Jubilee Crown. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the 1977 Jubilee Crown and um, it's safe to say they made a lot of these because I had, a, a, I wasn't even born until after 1977 and I have a lot of them. So yeah, they made, they made an awful lot of these. So um, they basically the Kubrick nickel versions, which I, I'm assuming is what I have because they, they are not in any, um, they're just in standard coin sleeves here. They're not in anything uh, special in my, uh, that I got from my grandfather's collection and um, yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm assuming they're Cuban Nickel because they made, and they made a lot of these. They made uh, over 37 million of them, and yeah, basically, um, it was the 25th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's accession to the throne, and this was a um, 25 pence coin. Although it's not listed anywhere on the crown here, it's not listed there or there. It's um, basically the 25th anniversary of her taking the throne, and um, as you can see, it's got Elizabeth II riding the horse. Here on the left, and it says um, Elizabeth, Defender of the Faith, 1977. And um, yeah, and on the back, uh, you've got the uh, a cra a crown of Edward and Pula and Golden Spoon, and this flower decoration around the outside. And yeah, it's pretty good. So this side and the other side were both um, designed by Arnold Manchin. The edge on the other side here is, re is reeded, so it's um, yeah, it's got the um, slight kind of milled kind of edge but it's not really it's more reeded than milled so um yeah that's um that's it um the royal mint obviously made these coins and yeah uh to advise the statistics pretty much it's uk coin um it's a um it's here is 1977 surprise surprise it says it right there and uh, these ones are cuba nickel um however uh, or copper nickel rather however they um uh, were also done in silver proof as well the weight for these cuba nickel ones is 28 Two eight grams for a 25p it's a large coin i guess you can see here for my size of my thumb it's a 38.61 millimeters in diameter thickness 3.2 millimeters and um, the orientation is metal alignment which basically means you have it like this so you don't have to flip it like you would an american dollar um and yeah they made a whole bunch load of these um and, uh, uh, and yeah because um so they made 37 000, uh, 37 million of this um, and they made 193,000 silver proofs. So on both ends, they made quite a lot of them. Um, the uh, little side note on comment for this, the, it's the second crown sized coin to be issued following decimization on the 15th, which was on the 15th of February, 1971. And the denomination was updated from five shillings to 25p. Despite being produced in their millions and being available at face value for most post offices, banks, Order, the ordinary business strike was a royal mint commemorative issue and not intended for general circulation so there you go so that so you do have these in the um, 1977 um, annual proof set as well apparently so uh, that's a brilliant and circulated strike you only get it in the um, presentation folder so if you have that good for you i think i have one of those somewhere i think i do so i've got silver proof somewhere for that because i have the decimalization silver proof set I'll, um, I think I've done a review on that one already, so check it out. If, it, if, I, if I have done a review of it, it'll be one of the proof sets I've done. I've not done too many of those, but anyway, I have lots of these coins. So I have like one here, one here, I have another one here, I have another one in the um, here. So that you know, this is a bit like um, <laughs> yeah. There's another coin. There's the um, there's the um, queen the queen mother. Um, coin as well which is um, august the 4th 1980 i think it's the birthday of the queen mother so um it could be uh, recognition i have to do another review on that but there's a queen mother coin that i have an awful lot of as well so you know these are obviously ones that you know were significant so everyone got them so you know you know 37 million is an awful lot of coin to make so yeah anyway this is a um these anyway these are good coins i do like the design of uh, elizabeth with the horse on it and uh, the crown on the back is great too. So, and um, yeah, obviously you've got um, all the other design uh, uh, design here. But you will find um, uh, you will find these very easily since you made a lot of them. And they, they even though it's a twenty five p coin, you can they, you know they're worth about one pound twenty. So one pound twenty, one pound fifty at the moment. So 
reasonable appreciation um, for um, the best of the you know the, the best part of fifty years. So you you, you could argue that um, it's um, it's keeping pace with inflation, but um, yeah, overall pretty good.